Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss about the topic role of parser in compiler design. The compilation process is carried out in six different phases of the compiler. That is lexical analyzer, syntax analyzer, semantic analyzer, intermediate code generator, code optimizer and code generator. The first phase of the compiler is the lexical analyzer. Already we have discussed about the role of lexical analyzer, tokens, patterns and lexemes and the lexical errors in the previous sessions. So in this session, we will discuss about the second phase of the compiler called the parser or the syntax analyzer. The source code is given as an input to the lexical analyzer and the lexical analyzer will produce tokens as the output. This token is given as an input to the parser. Once the parser accepts token as the input, it will check the token stream with the grammar of the language. That is, the token. it will check whether the token stream is derivable from the grammar. If so, that particular token stream is syntactically correct and it is a valid one. This grammar of the language is defined by the context-free grammar. So, the context-free grammar will describe the language construct for any programming language. Suppose, consider this example, i equal to i plus 1. If this is given as an input to the lexical analyzer, the lexical analyzer will produce token stream as id1 equal to id2 plus 1. So, if this token stream is given as an input to the parser, the parser will verify this token stream and this is according to the syntactical structure. So, it will confirm this token stream as a valid one. Suppose, instead of this equal sign, if semicolon is there here. So, if this token stream is given as an input to the parser, the parser will verify the token stream. There is a syntax error present in the token stream. And it will confirm this is an invalid token stream. So, it cannot be able to construct the parse tree with the help of this invalid token stream. So, this syntactical structure of any programming language will, will be defined by the context-free grammar. So, this context-free grammar separately we will discuss in one session. So, if the parser confirms the token stream is according to the syntactical structure and it is a valid one, it will construct the intermediate representation called the parse tree or the syntax tree. Suppose, if the token stream is invalid one, then the parser will deduct these syntax errors and it will be reported to the user. If there is very simple or commonly occurring errors, the parser will automatically recover from these commonly occurring errors such that it can continue to process the token streams. So, if you are considering the role of the parser, there are two main functions. It will verify the token stream whether it is according to the syntactical structure. If so, it will construct the parse tree as the output. Suppose, if the token stream is an incorrect token stream, it will deduct and report the syntax error to the user. So, these two are the main functions of the parser. This diagram shows the interaction between lexical analyzer, parser and rest of the front end. So, if you are considering here, source program is given as an input to the lexical analyzer. The lexical analyzer will produce token as the output. And this token is given as an input to the parser. So, every time the parser will get the token by raising a call get next token. So, the parser will verify whether the token stream is according to the syntactical structure. If so, it will construct the parse tree as the output. And this parse tree is given as an input to the next phase of the compiler that is semantic analyzer. And this semantic analyzer will generate its intermediate representation. So, during these interaction, lexical analyzer will collect information about the token and that will be stored in the symbol table. This symbol table information will be used by all other phases of the compiler. For example, if you are considering i equal to i plus 1 as an input. So, the lexical analyzer will produce a token stream as the output. So, the token stream is id1 equal to id2 plus 1. So, this is the token stream and this token stream is given as an input to the parser. The parser will verify this token stream is according to syntactical structure or not. If it is according to the syntactical structure, it will construct parse 3 as the output. So, id1 is equal to id2 plus 1. So, this is according to the syntactical structure. So, it will produce parse tree as the output. That is, 
id1 equal to id2 plus 1. So the parcel will produce this parse tree as the output. Thank you for watching this video.